Hey guys, this is E with Scrapbooking with me. Instead of sending out another email, I thought I would just show you real quick some of the things that we got in today and just show some of the papers and things because I know a lot of you guys say you'd love to see some of the papers on the inside. I try to do that, but I don't always have time to. So we did get in the dates from the past. This is the first one. And these are all the stamps that it has on there these are by sam pool and she does have a youtube channel so that is the dates from the past we have quite a few of those this is dates from the past two and that's all the stamps that are on there this is also by sam pool i love these stamps <clears throat> love, love, love them. This is signatures from the past one. Now, I don't, I don't think we've had this one in before. There was a couple of them that had been back ordered for a couple of months. So there is that one. We don't have signatures from the past two yet. I think we had it. We sold out. We don't have any more yet, but we have it on order. So there is that one. And then this is, ooh, this is Beautiful Garden, and this is by uh, Sam Poole as well. And that is what's on that one. Isn't that pretty, that ledger? She is just turning out some really pretty stamps lately. So that is the new stamps that we got in. Now I was going to show you some paper collections. This one we've had in before but we got more in because the other one sold out this is spring garden and look at that that would go so good with that stamp <clears throat> this is by simple stories there are let's see 88 pieces it's a 12 by 12 so it is 12 sheets of double-sided designer cardstock including cut apart element sheets and a 12 by 12 cardstock sticker sheet with 76 stickers. So that's a ton. And I love the feel of this paper. I had not opened up one of these until today. I love the feel of it. I think I can see why it sold out so quick the first time. Look at that. That quilting pattern on there, isn't that pretty? This is not too thick, so it would make a beautiful journal or mini album, or cards, whatever you're into. Look at that. So pretty. And then the butterflies. I can't say, I can't say that I like the smell of this paper. <laughs> it smells okay. It just smells pretty, um, like old books, kind of. So there's that one. There's this one. Look at that. This is a huge ledger page, isn't it? From 1879. That is gorgeous. There's that one. On the back side. This one. And they all look like they're on canvas. I don't know if you can see that or not. But it all looks like it's on canvas. I'm trying not to hit the microphone's reason. I'm kind of going that way a little bit. That one, that's pretty. A lot of these have got ledger on them. That's why I like them. And then this one, all of these tags that you could cut out and use. They're already made and decorated up for you. All you got to do is cut them. And the back side is where you can write on it. So that's a whole tag sheet with one, two, three, four, five, fifteen tags on there ready to go. Ready to go. And then here are journal cards. This whole thing is journal cards. Some long, some small, some medium size. Ready to go. And there's the back side of that. More journal cards, if you want to use it as that. If not, you could use these for cards, for the uh, decoration on cards or embellishment on your journals. Like these, you could cut these out and use them. Lots of different things you could do with these. 
another pretty page all about spring that's pretty those colors together and that one that big bingo card that's pretty and there's the back side and then you've got your sticker sheet and these are pretty they're not a high gloss they're kind of a just very very minimum gloss I don't know if you can see that some of these are so high gloss they're they don't look real good but these are not very high gloss I like those all right so that again is simple stories simply vintage spring garden so we've got quite a few of those right now I think if I'm not mistaken this is from American Craft and it's called A Perfect Match. Now this is some pretty paper. This does have foil on some of the pages. If you're doing a wedding album or something like that, really pretty. 24 double-sided sheets. There's 12 by 12. So let's see. Oh, that's, that's the front cover. And I may have to, hopefully I can show it this way. So look at these. These are, are they stickers? These feel like stickers. Are they stickers? I don't know. I don't think so, but they feel like stickers. That's so weird. They do feel just like stickers, but I don't think they are. But anyway, you could cut these out and use those if you wanted. There's the back. Now, the I'm going to have to slide it back and forth. The back has the lace at the top and the bottom. Isn't that pretty? And then here is another sheet. I'm not going to show you every sheet of the ones that are doubled. There's that sheet. I love that sheet. Love it. And then the back is hearts. And then you've got this one. And... There's the back. I got this one. And there's the back. And this one. Oh, isn't that pretty? The back. And these have got the little barcode things up here that you could actually use those strips know a lot of people who save those strips and use them that one and then the back and then this one isn't that pretty Ooh, I like that and this is not a real real thick paper either so it would make beautiful journal pages there's that one and then the back it's kind of a chevron pattern and then you have, look at that, you have all of these tags or journal cards, whatever you would want to use them for. Happily Ever After, Lovebirds, On This Day, New Chapter, and then you could also, if you don't want to use the other side of that, you could always use this. And look up here, you've got phrases at the top that you can cut out and use. So not a piece of this paper is wasted. Got this one, some little words on there, and then that, this one with the little flowers, it's pretty, that one with the big starburst, and then this one that has some foiling on it and some really pretty journal cards, or if you don't want to use the journal cards, you can use the back side. So it's not real lovey-dovey. Uh, wedding type you could use it for any kind of album so that's what I like about them if you don't want to use it for a wedding album use it for another journal or another album any way that you would want to so that again is American Crafts a perfect match now I'm gonna link the I'm not gonna le link each one of these below but I will link the category that they're in and you can just go over there and scroll down through and find them this one is by American Crafts and it's Cedar House and this would be a fantastic man's journal fantastic because it's got some of the you know hunting type stuff in it and so it'd make a good man's journal i know i have people all the time that say 
I never can find any men paper. Well, this is it right here. Let's see. Did I turn one too many? No. Yes, I did. There we go. <laughs> oh, that's the back of the first one right there. It's like a big map. And there's the skulls. And then there's that one. So, yeah, definitely men. There's the back of that one, which is the wood. And then this one is like those uh, metal type keys. There's the back of that one. It's got some writing on it. And then those old CDs. And there's the back. And look at that. And that is a foil that ha that they've done these little things with. You know, you've got a buffalo, a bird, a fox, a squirrel. Um, lots of different things. I don't know what all some of these are. It looks like a tiger. So you've got all of your men little hunting things on there. I guess they hunt that stuff. And there's the brick on the back side. And then there's that one. Yeah, this is this is men all over. There's the back side. Except this page, you know, you might not want that for the men, but here's a good page on the back that's got a little bit of writing on it. It says make today an adventure. Find your tribe. I'm trying to read upside down. Adventure awaits. I mean, yeah, that's men there. And then here you go. Work hard. Work hard, play hard. That's men, isn't it? And there's another one with the brick on the back. And then a, kind of a chevron pattern with some foiling here and there. And then there's the back. So if you've got a man that you want to do a journal for or an album, this is it. And these are not real thick. They make a, a great journal. They fold easy. Look at that, those old cameras. And there's the back. And then I think it starts over. Yes, it does. This is starting over. So it's two of each sheet, 12 of 12, 24 double-sided pages. So if you got a man in your life, grab Cedar House. Fantastic for the men out there. All right, this is American Crafts Dreamer. This is 24 double-sided sheets. So let's see what we can find here. Ooh, these are pretty. Now this is uh, spring and Easter colors, is it not? Look at that. Ooh, you could cut all those out. I'm, I'm looking at these for the first time too. Look at the back of that. Pretty. That. Again, this is not heavy, so it'd make a great journal. Very pretty. I have made journals out of scrapbook paper like this before, and they work up great. It just can't be much thicker than this. This is about the thickness that it needs to be. Butterflies. Ooh, I love the back of that. That's pretty. Oh, and seed packets. Look at that. Ooh, I love those. Wow. Hmm, I may have to get me one of these before they're all gone. Isn't that pretty? And there's the hearts. And there's the back side. Oh, my goodness. Stamps of all shapes and sizes. These are fantastic. Oh, and there's the back side. Oh, wow. That's pretty. There's the back side. Oh, hey, that's pretty too. Back side. That one's pretty. Oh, I love that. And I'm not a big purple fan, but I love that. That's kind of a, what, lavender maybe? I don't know, but it's pretty. There's one that's got a little bit of go foiling through it, but it still bends very easy. That's beautiful. And then that one that's really pretty and there's the back side and then I think we start over and of course they have the little bar up code up here at the top that you can use as well 
So this one is a dreamer. Perfect for spring and Easter makings. Very perfect for that. It's absolutely gorgeous. This one is, let's see. This is a Reminisce collection, and it's called Vintage Lace. It's got 12, 12 by 12 papers, two sheets per design. So, oh, that's pretty. This looks like a canvas tote with that lace on there. Isn't that pretty? It's got two sheets. So there's the back. That's gorgeous, that lace. So pretty. And there's a dark lace. This uh, this one's a little bit thicker paper. It probably would make a really good mini album. Or, you know, scrapbooking, card making. Isn't that pretty? You could make a journal out of it. Your pages would just be a little bit thicker. That's gorgeous. Oh, look at that. That's pretty. And there's the back. Wow. There's another dark one. And then there's the back. Oh, I love that. You could cut that out and let that be the top of a page or something. Oh, wow. I get all kinds of ideas when I look at new paper. And then there is that one. Gorgeous. That is so pretty. I have not looked at that one at all. I hadn't even seen it up close. So that one again is from Reminisce and it is called Vintage Lace. I was trying to see um, Acid and Lignin Free. So yeah, make a good album, journal, scrapbook page, whatever you want to do with it. Okay, this one is from Elizabeth craft designs and it is called key lime night i would even cut that right there out and use it i like that i would cut these out and use them that would not go to waste and then on the back side of that you've got this that you can use if you don't want to use any of the front cute Ooh, that pe that paper hurts my eyes a little bit now i love that this, again, would make a good man's journal. You know, take her off, all of that. Men, see the world. Oh, that's pretty. I like that. The back side. It's got lots of blacks and browns in it, so it'd be a good addition to a man's journal. There's a good tan page. Oh, look at that. That looks like a blueprint. That's pretty. And I like that page, too. Ooh, that page hurts my eyes. Anything that's real close knit together like that, that's checkered, hurts my eyeballs. Oh, I like that writing on that one. Pretty. Can use these for journal cards. That one's pretty too. Look how good these go. Ooh, pretty, pretty. And then, oops, do I have two? No, I don't. I have one. Then that one. Okay, so this one evidently is one of each design. Yeah, 24 designs, one of each design and then it's got that inside cover it's 80 pound cardstock so it's a tiny bit thicker than the others that one again is called key lime knot okay now this one we've had in the store for a little while the first ones we had in sold out so we got more and i want to tell you a little bit about these these were actually this one and the eight by eight was actually in the computer at the same price and somebody brought it to my attention so I looked them up she said I think the 12 by 12 should be higher shouldn't it well 
I looked it up, and the 12 by 12 is just seven ninety nine. Can you believe that? That's unreal. I've never seen a 12 by 12 paper pad that's seven ninety nine. I looked at it twice to make sure I was seeing it right, but it is. This is a very pretty paper. It's by Little Birdie. It's 12 sheets, 250 GSM, and 12 designs. So it's called Blooms. Like I said, we have had it in before, but it sold out very quickly. So we got more in. It's just a single-sided. It is a heavier cardstock. I don't know that I would use this for a journal. I would use it for a mini album. But, um, and I'd use it for scrapbooking. Very, very pretty for scrapbooking. But I don't know, a journal, I might not. It'd, be, it'd make your pages pretty thick. But I love all the colors on here. And for $7.99, you can't beat that. Wouldn't that make a pretty card? Put some white around and maybe purple around and then let that be the center focal point. Very pretty. This has got the Easter colors too. Hopefully I'm not flipping them too fast. If I am, just slow me down. <laughs> slow me down a little bit. And then that is the other page. So very, very pretty paper. And like I said, for $7.99, yeah, I'll take it. So 12 sheets, 12 designs, 250 GSM by Little Birdie, and it's called Artsy Blooms. And our last one, I think this is our last new one that we've got in. And this is not new. It's been in the shop for a little while, but we got more in because the first batch that we got sold out this one is 49 in market wherever and this is the 12 by 12 it includes 10 double-sided pages one of each design and it also has a design on the back of your cover so they don't waste that so that's good this one has been out there for a little while i've saw lots of youtubers using it for different things Make, it would make great tags. You wouldn't have to put anything behind it at all. Make the, you know, cut your tags this side, and then this side can be your writing pages. It's just the right thickness. Look at that. Be a good man's journal, too, because it's got those colors in it. I will probably get one of these and use it to make some tags with because, like I said, all you have to do is cut them and they're done. Look at that. That's pretty. I've not seen a page like that before. Uh oh, sorry, I hit the microphone. Very pretty. There's your airplane. And then your car. So wherever we go, that's pretty. All right, that is that one. And again, it's called, it's 49 in market, and then it's called wherever. Okay. All right, I am going to link the category below where you can find all of those. I think all of those are still in the new product category and I'll make sure that I link these stamps that are in now because I know a lot of you had been waiting on these so that is it guys thank you so much and we will talk to you guys later bye bye